Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder X here back with more Let's Play Shining Force 3 Scenario 3, and I'm ready for the final confrontations! Uh, I've got my three armies ready, and I've got my premium disc army ready, because what you want to do is, if you start playing around with a premium disc, you don't have access to your inventory, so, like, this massive amount of weapons and items that I've got stockpiled, I don't have access to. So you want to be very, very careful about making sure your army for the premium disc is is maxed out where they're they're going to be now. So I've given all of my items, all of the consumable items, except for a healing or a goddess tier. Who's going to get a goddess tier? Uh, thousand, you're going to get a goddess tier. Uh, 31 healing drops, uh, I, like I said, pretty much all the consumable items, like the lucky cookies, the protect milks, those things, those have all been given to who will be in my uh, premium discourse. I've moved around a couple of items and weapons, so we are, we're good to go, we're ready. So, what you want to do, once you're ready for both the final fights, and if you have the premium disc and you're going into that, once you're prepared for what you're going to throw at the premium disc. Talk to Benetrum. Choose advice. Yes, all armies have prepared. We are ready to go. Shall we confirm the strategy for this battle? Confirm this for the final time. So north of here is the ice ice field, which is going to be fun to get to the shrine. The two towers, Lord of the Ring. No. Uh, so basically, what they're saying is one army is going. The Median Army is going to take out one tower, the Symbios Army is going to take out the other tower, and once those towers are defeated, the, the gate opens and the Julian Army gets to go fight those up. That's what happens. That's how this fight is going to take place. Although we don't know how strong the guardi guarding forces force is, but the... the, the Well, I mean, we've already killed one great pe beast. God, I can't speak for crap today. Before the path is opened, we must respond to the Walkeries' attack. It is better to move along the cliff. Yeah, there are Walkeries floating around out there. So yeah, we just gotta get close to the shrine. It's pretty much the same fight as the beginning of Scenario 3, where we had to duck underground in the little trenches. Which of us will finish first? This is a competition! Oh, Symbios and Median. Being... Being themselves... Let us be sure we live to see each other again. Well, that's comforting words coming from a high priest. Live and we shall meet again. See, when Median speaks, it's so much more badass than whatever I would have put in his place. But I'm also a snarky bastard, so... Symbios army moves out. And now, the Julian army. Oh, we'll do it. Don't worry. 
We're the heroes, after all. I love how we get to walk all the way, like, the priest won't step aside so that we can just walk around. We gotta go all the way around. Not that I'm actually doing it, it's just the... Our future is in your hand, Shining Force, you are only hope! Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're our only hope. I think. They started the war between the Republic and the Empire, tried to cause their collapse. Now, yes, good grace, go for the jugular. I hate that picture of John Terry's. Only the Julian army can it, yeah. Ooh, you got told, John Terry's. Yeah, it's another high priest, but look at his face, he looks so sad, kind of derpy. <laughs> Your army may contain the Republic's elite. Um, yeah, we've beaten, dude, we've beaten half the people you've thrown at us. The other half, median beat. I like that dot dot just shut up. Ah, uh, don't worry about Julian. We've got it. We're just gonna walk in. This, I'm, there's going to be no strategy to this fight, because I'm level 20. All of my forces are level 20. I brought my forces up to take on Tauros. You guys aren't a threat to me. I've beaten him. Oh yeah, yeah. there's lots of assassination attempts, weren't there? Uriudo... Uriudo and Sintesis. I, I really think there's something going on between the two of them. Really. It's a historical battle, and he's honored to participate. At least Sintesis admits that she's scared for once. I mean... I love how all of the heroes no longer speak, because now I'm in control of all of them again. And another high priest shows up. He looks less derpy than the last one. Yeah, we beat her. Oh no, see, that's a... Like, oh, well, maybe I'll send them all to Bull Zone Friend, and I'm not gonna worry about you. You people are such twats. You know that? It will increase the joy of defeat. What? Yeah, we're just gonna... Campbell's got the right idea. Kill them. Kill everything. Kill all the things is what's going to happen here. And the Julian army. The path to Bolzum Shrine. Hey, I saw my house from you. No. <laughs> 
Yeah, the Valkyrie is actually going to be kind of a threat. Oh, holy crap. She's here and she's acting kind of creepy. Oh, hey, it's Braff! We haven't seen him since Symbios beat the crap out of him in Scenario 1. You know, back when we only had one promotion, not our second promotion. Oh, holy crap, the Walkerie can teleport. Oh, and Braff looks like he's got an upgrade, too. He's wearing different armor. Yeah, the Julian army actually has a, a difficult fight. Because in addition to the Valkyrie, um, we don't get to fight a derpy high priest like the other two. We get to fight Braff and Masano. But again, we took out Braff a long time ago. We're considerably stronger now. No, it won't. We can do it. Stop being a negative Nancy, Benetrim. Alright, so the battle's begun! It's time to fight. These three fights happen simultaneously. When you're finished with the round in one battle, it moves to the rounds in the next battle. When you're finished with the rounds in that battle, it moves to the third, and then it, it cycles back through. So... It's... it's going to be fun. Let's look at the Symbios Army's battle. They've got a V formation and then just an army right there. We've got liches who are so beyond not useful. Dragon newts, which are a throwback to several other Shining Force games. Lesser demons, which have stopped being a threat a long time ago. More blues. Dark Gunners, more Dark Gunners Blues, uh, here we have another new enemy, we've got uh, more Dullahans there, we've got Demon Knights, they're actually kind of a threat, and then we've got the boss themselves, the High Priest, who wears the Chaos Mobius, Aura Level 3, Inferno Level 1, and they have like 500 in HP, I think. They've got just outside of the range of visible HP. So, we're really not... It's not that big of a threat. Especially if you... I could go all out, but I, I, I'm not going to yet. I'm going to move my forces forward. Noon and Mascarin have soulmate status, so that's good. Uh, one thing, uh, I did not equip the, uh, the Kusanagi on, uh, Murasami, because I would have been trading five defense for one attack. The Kusanagi is only one attack point stronger than... The whatever weapon he's got equipped now, uh, the Massimum. So, I wasn't going to trade the defense in these battles for it, that just seems stupid. So, that's what he's wearing. Where's Khan? Oh, there, okay, there's Khan, I was about to say. I need Khan in this fight. I definitely need Khan in this fight. And why are they not coming forward to attack? I mean, at this point... <sighs> I might as well just save all of my MP and then just, like, have everyone AoE that large group of people there into oblivion. Because at this point, I don't care about XP. I, I'm gonna just kill everything. I'm... This is going to be a slightly difficult fight, but not any more difficult than the final rung of the hero's test. 
I could take out three Colossi's... Colossi? What is the plural of Colossus? It's like with a uh, long-running joke playing, um... The Skies of Arcadia. Uh, we called the little cupel thing that was... What are you doing? What the hell are you doing? That, that was dick, Glitch. That was dick. Anyway. The, the little cupel thing that was one of the main character's weapons, uh, we called him Hercules, and we always joked around with the plural of Hercules. What's Herculi? Herculeses? Alright, it is Median's army's turn. Yeah. Uh, they don't have the pillars, they just have the trees, which is really good for defense, but really bad for movement. But they pretty much have the same force that we're going against. Dragon Newts, Dullahans, Liches, Dark Gunners, uh, Demon Knights, High Priest, pretty much the same High Priest. Just again, looking a little less derpy. Alright. Yeah, we're gonna... No, no. We're gonna take advantage of the trees. I did, however, give Hazuki a Kusanagi. Because she was already... She already had a, a cursed katana. So... Yeah. Oh, I can only get one. But we're gonna hit one. We're gonna see if we can get the Dullahan to help us out. Oh, no effect on Dullahan! Does he have, like, nine luck? No, he has... Oh, that was just a crappy... Crappy effect, then. Because Dullahan should have been... He so should have been taken care of. And wow, this horse has so much better time moving. Uh, let's place you there, and he's got a Tiamat rod now, but I can't hit anything with it, so. This is going to be a very boring first run. Yeah, this is not turning out well for me, is it? I'm kind of getting the short end of the stick as far as attacks go. Probably should have done that before moving everyone. Oh, this is not going to be well. Not going to be well at all. So yeah, uh, let's see how this goes. I'm not. I, I'm really not worried about it. Um, I'm going to make it to Julian's army before I end this episode, so I've got a couple more bad guys to go, and they're going to get attacks in and piss me off. And... <laughs> Mariano is the first to draw blood <laughs> with a counterattack. Demon I'm actually kind of scared of the demon. It's the two new things. The Dark Gunners are eh. Because ranged units in this game always get the short end of the stick. They're really good for their first volley of attacks, but then their defense is just crap. So once I can get my force to them, it's never really a problem. And the fact that they're doing critical hits for 23 points of damage, I'm not, again, not all that concerned with it. Now, I'm a little concerned with this. This is going to hurt a little bit. Or not! Still only... 
he had the weapon strength and weakness in his favor, and he did one point less than to Hazuki. Hazuki's HP must be, or defense must be crap. Well, it kind of is, because she... She has a Chaos Ring instead of a, an Attack Ring. And she levels up off of the counter attack. Good job, Hazuki. And we're in Julian's Force now, so I'm going to show off this and I'm going to end it here. Because we're at about 20 minutes. And just like before, we have the Dark Staff. Which means... But this is a new attack! I don't know what its range is, but crap, that was nasty looking. So, yeah. I don't even know where it hit or how to avoid that. But we've got pretty much the same bad guys. We've got the negative staff, which if we cast Blessing on it... I think if we cast Blessing on it, it shorts out, or if we cast Shining on it, it shorts out. We've got Masanda with 400 HP, 120 MP, 94 attack, 62 defense, agility 49, luck of 9, 5 movement, negative cane again, Thanatos level 2, Blaze level 3, her son Braff, Photon Blade, Phoenix level 2, 440 HP, 60 MP, 99 attack, 63 defense. 39 Agility, 9 Luck, Photon Blade, yeah, this... Not really a whole lot concerned, I just need to get to them. So, uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna end this episode here, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next installment, where we start moving for Wrath. Till then, later everyone.